as it slammed through the channel and reached the mainland. A 300-mile stretch of England's southern coastline was on high alert. The debris flew and trees were torn from the ground. Thousands of properties lost power in Cornwall, at the Fox and Hounds in Scoria. The landlord filmed as the cables fell. But then all of a sudden, it, we just saw all the power like flashing over in the, behind it. In Dorset, the road onto the Isle of Portland had to be closed off for the morning. Amongst the gridlock it caused, Prima was out trying to keep her appointments, caring for vulnerable people. It's been getting worse. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's been getting worse. I'm scared. I will I go home in the evening. I'm scared about that now. <laughs> the intensity rose and fell throughout the day. It's windy, it's blustery. You know, you just got to get on with it, though. It was absolutely tipping it down when we went up. And now I'm going to go home, shut the door and stay in. Hundreds of schools stay closed. Some roads were just impassable. And getting anywhere on public transport was tricky. It was over here within 24 hours and wasn't as extreme on the south coast as some forecasters had predicted. The most devastating impact of this was felt out there across the water on the Channel Islands. Storm Kiron leaves behind even more communities facing flood alerts or flood warnings from the south coast of England up to the northeast of Scotland. And this winter is only just getting started. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Dorset.